Some people don't even like have like a dream of going to college or even like the idea of it. Like some people just feel like, oh, it's not in the car. I don't have the money. Yeah, I did the street thing for a while. My mentality wasn't college. It was just get a high school diploma and get on with your life. teachers say things to you like you're not going to be able to do this or you're not going to be able to do that, it gets kind of discouraging. Every single student, regardless of reading level, regardless of academic ability, uh, at the time that they enter, must go on to post-secondary education. It has to happen. This is a world in which we live where they will be left behind completely if they don't. I know youth build works because it's a different method to learn in here. It's not about what you have to do here. It's about do you want to better your life or do you just want to sit around and let life pass you? How many of you here are just here to get your high school diploma? Raise your hand. You may realize that there are answers to some of these questions that you hadn't faced before. Some of you might be stuck because you've never done this sort of deep, deep digging before into yourself. My friend went to Youth Build before he got killed. He didn't finish, he got killed. That's why I ended up having to come to Youth Build. You have to balance inspiration with expectation. How do you create a realistic individualized plan for a young person. And that's what we do really, really well. I graduated from Youth Build, running around frantically looking for work because I had just had a son. Like I'm like, I got a kid, there's no way I can go to college. And I felt like I had wasted my time after this whole year. I just did this year and I can't get a job. And I came back up here and I talked to Marty Malloy. He asked me, what do you want to do next? Now, going to college, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I actually did what I want to do. Got my first acceptance letter. <laughs> Bring it right back to school. Like, <laughs> I had to show up. I, I, look, they accepted me. I didn't even think I was going to go to college at all. It's possible. I did it. Anybody can do it. College is hard. The difference is, we are staying and have a strong relationship with that young person. We have monthly check-ins. How's your motivation? How's your transportation? How's your disposition? How are the things going that matter? Is your childcare still okay? We will stay with you through completion, and that is powerful. Part of the transition to the student is for them to realize that they didn't leave Youth Build behind. They are bringing Youth Build with them. A lot of those students really find it easy to drop out. It's a challenge to get them to understand that success really is an opportunity. I have two daughters. I don't want my little girls growing up seeing me not doing nothing with my life. We are seeing students complete at the post-secondary level. And now students already starting to go on for bachelor's degrees. Honestly, I, I feel so proud about uh, the fact that I'm even considering the uh, four-year school. In 10 years, I will be the best pediatric orthopedic doctor this country has ever seen. I'll be there. I will be that RN. I will be pulling 12-hour shifts. I will be working holidays, everything. It's going to be awesome in five years. You've built put it in my head that I could do something with my life. It made me feel wanted. It made me feel important. We know what a meaningful credential can do. Guys, the limit. 
looking good. What a union apprenticeship can do. Because mommy graduating, baby. You got it. But it's more about what that individual who achieves that brings back to their community, brings back to their family, brings to their son or daughter. Once they know they can, there is no stopping them. The reality is, it's in us. It's in all of us. 